years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, this is Alex. This is the Ramble. We go from now until midnight right here from New York City, the most infected city in the world. Hey, we finally have a face. We finally have a face, ladies and gentlemen. There's Stephen Pearl. Hello, good evening, Mr. and Mrs. North America and all the ships at sea. How yes, is everybody? We're we're doing it the easy way today, oh, right? Man, we're zoomed up. Yeah, we're doing it the easy way. We're doing it through Zoom. Zoom. Yeah, so that uh, we can see. How are you? That's at your good. place What's in that? that's your place in Las Vegas. My little place in Las Vegas. You can yeah. see some pictures behind me and I got a cat at my feet and uh, everybody's happy. Yeah. What about uh, what about the pictures in back of you? What are all those? That's me with uh, Gail Gordon over there. I was a big friend of his, and we used to romp together. No, it's uh, just me with different people, living or dead. So. Yeah, living or dead. Who's yeah, the Who's the most dead. dead on the wall? I suppose you have a picture of you with with uh, with Robin, right? Oh, there's a few of them up there. Robin and Johnny Winter and Geraldo Rivera and Edgar Winter and mm -hmm. Big Sides of the Mighty Waters and Ray Manzarek and the Doors and George Target. And an autograph one of Muhammad Ali. His daughter got for me, which is real nice. And... Uh, when and when and we outside of the two bar or the famous two bar phone calls are made, Les Paul, John, I didn't know Paul, uh, Robbie Dangerfield, just all kinds of uh, wonderful show business people. Now, how are you stuck inside? Are you doing the? Uh, do they have the uh, stay in place? Uh, yeah, well, we're not grounded. I can go out, and you don't have to wear a mask. But uh, you know, I've been going out to the store, and I take my walk every day because since the gym is closed. And uh, it's, 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 it's it, we're not as locked down as you are in New York or they are in California. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. But here we are, but there's nothing going on. So, you know, we're still stuck here. How many rooms do you have in that uh, apartment? How many what? How many rooms do you have in that apartment? 147 plus 16 balconies. You wouldn't oh. believe it. <laughs> Dude, for $50 a month. It's amazing. Oh, boy. Oh, we got, uh, this, <laughs> I got a big living room here, and then there's a kitchen that way and that way, and then there's a bedroom in there and a bathroom. And, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. You know, and the wax museum in the other room. No, I suppose uh, all the casinos are closed, right? Closed. Everything's closed. Yeah. And so you really can't work. Nobody can work. Yeah, I'm just sitting here on my ass. Huh? Thank God for weed and the internet. <laughs> <laughs> and do you get some money from the government? Do you get some like a... Uh, no comment. What do you mean, no comment? No comment. I do, Jerry. The money's coming. It's going to be all in pennies. And if you don't like it, go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I got a thing. Hey, you know, I all got pennies in a big jar of honey. I got, to get it out. I got their little package, you know, their uh -huh. thing. And then I get... It, but to make it lousy, I get a note from Trump. Uh, oh, a note. Wow. Says, oh, congratulations on the money I just sent you. Kiss my ass. Oh, really? <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. And I'm not wearing a mask. I'm too pretty. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, so how are you bearing with this? I mean, are you... Uh, it sucks. I want to go out. I want to see my friends. I, uh, you know, I want to go on stage. I want to I go bowling every Monday with the boys, you know, and do Alien the Comets with me going bowling. And, uh, you know, there's this... It, what do you do? I don't mind. I like being home a lot, but this is like overdoing it. So <laughs> yeah, I do enjoy being home, but not all the time. <laughs> not all the time. Yeah. 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 And, and, uh, but you've got your, you got your music and you got yeah. your, uh, you, I guess you got my toys. Got my toys. Yeah. I got some weed, weed. I got the cats to keep me uh, entertained 24 7. So I'm not hanging myself. You know, I just, I will be, I'll be very glad when this thing is over. Unless it's the end of the world, then we're all going to die. Do you have any of the pay services like Netflix or? I got none of that. I got Leave It to Beaver in the morning and Dragnet at night. That's oh wow! Mean. Well, you're happy with that, right? I'm very. Yeah, I don't give a shit. You, 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 you like know. the old shows? I love the old. I watch Highway Patrol at five in the morning. Yeah. Roger Robert. Seven in the pool. You know, you you know what you can't believe. This is really defies any description. First of all, you had. Um, Broderick Crawford, who was known mainly for what? Highway Patrol, right? Highway Patrol, of course. But 
He won an Academy Award. Yeah, he did, didn't he? For All the King's Men, I think, 1948. Oh, that's right, yeah. That's yeah, right. and, and then, then you think about Ernest Borgnine, and everybody laughs, ho, 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 and they go, oh, yeah, yeah McHale's Navy. But you forget, he won an Academy Award. Amazing, yeah. For Marty. I'm a lonely mom. I'm going to get a girl. And then next year, I'm going to kill Frank Sinatra. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, he was, it was, it, it's kind of amazing if you think about it. Those guys went from winning Academy Awards to, like, really crappy television. Gigs a gig, man. Take the paycheck. What the hell? Well, I guess you have to, right? Because Ernest Borgnine drove a Porsche, so let's make fun of him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, on the other hand, my ass. I get all the pussy anyone can ask. Yeah. yeah. Can you name some other people though? The one that that uh, that uh, won Academy Awards, I think, and 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 mm -hmm. wound up on television. Oh, uh, there must have been probably one. today. You can because they all go to like Netflix and things like oh, that. Yeah. And we consider it television. But, it, but in those days, it was a major trivia question that I was asked, and it was a hard one. Like, for instance, they say, uh, anyone who won an Academy Award that had a TV show, try Jack Lemmon. He had a TV show? He had a TV show before he got into movies. He had the Jack wow. Lemmon show on, I think, CBS. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I yeah. know that. I've been watching the Betty White show, Life with Elizabeth, from 1953. Oh, I, you know something? When I was a kid, I loved that show. Yep, and they saw a little doggy at the end. Very cool. Yeah, but I mean, I thought it was a very funny show. Yeah, you know, I like, I like it for its time, definitely. So. Well, I think her show, I think was, well, it was I think it was post I Love Lucy, but she was. Yeah, like, well, yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Was, yeah, but she was stuff. one of the first comedians to kind of be the the star of a show, uh -huh. you know, and yeah. uh, boy, was she young. Woo, still around, man. God bless her. Yeah. God bless her and all the animals with the. Uh, you had the I Love Lucy, which we got I Married Joan and Life with Elizabeth and blah, blah, blah. I Married Joan with? Who was? Ah, ah, Jim, Jim Backus. Ah, ah, yeah, ah, Jim, Jim. Jim Backus, but also, also, Joan Davis <coughs> was the star of the oh, show. Davis, right, that, the late Joan Davis, who died in 1961, not long after that show was on. Really? You remember all that? I remember, I, well, I don't remember when it happened, but I, I read up on her, so, you know, it's like, yeah, 61. Well, how old are you now? You're, you're... Uh, I'm 19 again. Uh, I'm 64. Get off my lawn, yeah. you bastards. Are you the same age as, as, as Bubbles? There's Bubbles both... is older than me. Older yeah. than you, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Eight, but, uh, yeah, I'm 64, so. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. Product 1955. In fact, yesterday I was doing, uh, you know, our weekly interview with him. And uh, he asked about you. He said, how's oh. Pearl doing? And I said, I don't know. I've never been able to see what he looks like these days. And, you know, you really haven't aged much. It's the, it's the big eyes, you know. They keep the rest of me from getting wrinkled or something. I don't know. Me? I, uh, I just, yeah. I don't know. Just never, never aged that much. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, my, the inside of me is, I'm sure. But, uh, you know. No, you look, you look pretty much as I remember you. I thought maybe I'd go on now and you'd look like, you know, Oh, I've been married yeah. 19 times. The, the picture of Dorian Gray, you know. Oh, yeah, but, sure. you know, uh, but uh, you know, you look great. How, oh, thank you very much. What, what is your What is your regimen for keeping great? You You work out. I work out. Well, now that the gyms are closed, I'm still taking. I'm walking every day, and I'm lifting my little weights I have here. And uh, I eat junk, but not too much junk. And uh, I just try to stay young and keep laughing, kid. Keep laughing. Keep laughing. Yeah, stay high, smoke weed, keep laughing, listen to good music, you know, and uh, try to have at least one animal in your house. So, yeah. Yeah. It's good. Animals are good for you. So. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Um, um, so, yeah, I could say, what kind of gigs are you doing? You're not doing yeah. gigs. Um, you, you do live in a town where I guess you can get in your car and you can kind of go out. Well, you can go out to the desert. Nobody's going to, yeah. nobody's yeah, going to, right. nobody's going to bump over there. That's Vinny. See that other bump over there. That's Rocco. N nobody's going to, you know, give you a, well, like doing a desert. Shoot, you know, shoot, shoot yeah. my knife. You know? Exactly. Exactly. No, I decide that I can stay in. I, uh, I'm, I'm home a lot, but, uh, unless I'm working or something, you know, hanging out with friends. But, uh, now of course I'm home all the time. Yeah. Yeah. 
So right. anyway, uh, uh, so I mean, you know, so what do you think of all of this? I mean, did you get your stimulus check? By the way, did you get your check from the government? Ask me that, Grandpa. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Uh, the answer is no, 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 no. Oh, there's your cat. There's your cat in back of oh, you. My cat in the back. Oh, hi, Sam. That's Sam. Is Siamese? There's Sam over there. Hi, Sam. That's my that's my firstborn, Sam. Is that a Siamese cat? Yes, he is. He's yeah. a Siamese cat. You wouldn't. Why would you call him Siam if it weren't a Siamese well, Pina, cat? My wife named him, so you can name him whatever you want. He's Siam. Yeah. His brother Ishi, and uh, there's a black cat asleep on the. Let's see if I can. Here, here. Well, on this tour of the White House, here's where Jack. <laughs> Kennedy walks around. Here's. Let's see. Can we see this here? Uh, oh, no. oh, there's another cat. There's but, money waters asleep. Right. Let's gonna see the black cat. You know, you know what happens with cats, and uh, they always want to be seen. You know. Oh yeah, these so, two are these so are th they know I'm talking to you. Yep. And so they want to be in the shot. Yeah, these guys are hams. Yeah. So uh, yeah, and there's a there's a third one somewhere, but oh, I just jumped off the. Are you a home? Are you home more than usual? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. So that being the case, how do the cats react to that? Oh, they don't give a shit one way or the other. You know, I come home. I can, I can come home after a year. Are you back already? Yeah, so, well, they, because they have their. When you have two cats, they have their own little society going. Yeah, we have three, and yeah. uh, well, two of them are brothers, so they're like uh, they're together. You're fighting or hugging, and uh, the third one is a is yeah. a lone wolf. And when you leave, they just go, "Okay, see you later." Yeah, and yeah. Cool. I come back, and like they can see me from the bed. They usually hang out on the bed, mm -hmm. and uh, I walk in, and they look at me. Oh, he's back. Okay. Oh, he's back. Yeah. 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 Hey, wait a minute! I might do a bit about cats versus dogs. Yeah, it's been done. Now, how are your friends handling this whole thing? Do you know that, anybody that's come down with the virus? I don't know anyone who's come down with it, and everyone I know is, is going nuts, going, being driven mad, slowly mad. It's like Sle myself and everyone else. Blah, 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 you know, like Steve McQueen and Poppy, and when they put him in the in the the solitary thing, you know. Now, are other yeah. people you know staying in more than you? Because you say you go to the you, the gyms open. Did you say? Oh, so I'm walking and lifting my weights. Oh, here. I so, see. Okay, okay. Everything's closed. Everything's closed. Yeah, but uh, you see, you have the weights. My wife just bought like a Peloton bike. Oh, that's nice. Because she was getting so sick of not being able to work out, it was worth twenty five hundred uh, bucks gotta, to her. You gotta, I got to do something, you know. Just so I take my walk every day. I like to work up a sweat, and I lift. I lift several times a day because I'm bored as shit. Well, so, I've, I've, uh, gained, I've gained about seven. Life. I've gained about seven pounds since this. Everybody's thing. gaining weight. Everybody's gaining weight. Yeah. Except for Christy. And Everyone. I don't. I don't know if it's this or the the, the you know the cancer procedure that I had. The uh, the seeds being implanted right. that might have caused more weight. I don't know because the seeds weigh. I I don't know, but you know, heavy uh, seeds. But it's very hard to 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 keep weight off when you're this, uh, uh, you know, when you're not going out. When you're this. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. What do you time. What do you do? You eat. What do you just do? Let's eat something. Watch TV and eat. Well, I try not to eat. That's not that. Uh, I try the, not to do that. But uh -huh. uh, in spite of that, you know, it's very it's very hard. There's no exercise. And sure. yesterday. We went for a walk. I went out for the first time in a week and a half, and we took a walk, and I was out of breath. <laughs> you know, which uh, when I was working out and when I was doing lots of walks every day, never happened. Wow. You yeah. Know? So, I mean. Yeah. My legs are starting to hurt because I work out at the gym and I do my leg exercises, and they started to hurt because I wasn't doing them. Yeah. And the muscles are going, hey, work on us again. Otherwise, you're not going to like this. So. I'm walking just to do something. So in in quarantine, are you uh, are you listening to music? Every of course, every day. Okay, and who are you listening to? Oh God, I'm listening to uh, Big Big Willie Little and his uh, Bug Bug Busters, and uh, <laughs> listening to, <laughs> listening to <laughs> I listen to my, a lot of Frank Sinatra as you do. Uh, yeah. Once you hit a certain age, you have to listen to Frank Sinatra. It's the law. It's the law. Exactly. Uh, and it's just good. It sounds so good. And uh, just, 
Uh, every, everything, you know, old time doors, stones, of course, Johnny Neger, uh, Santana, and old, really old rockabilly of long dead guys you never heard of and probably never will. So I'm sure you don't listen to Lady Gaga or. No, I mean, uh, or, 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 or it's nothing. Yeah, get, get off my lawn. Actually, Gaga is very good. Did you hear the fr- the uh, Tony I've Bennett, this, the Tony the, Bennett album she did? Hey, let me tell you something. The only reason I sang with that bitch is they paid me a lot of money. <laughs> Turn that thing green, baby. Let me tell you something else. That no, that girl. She, I don't want to say she's ugly, but when she cries, the tears roll up her fucking face. You know what I mean? <laughs> whoa, whoa. No, but I'm telling you, she's good. She's the real deal. I mean, she. I've heard her. And just, didn't do anything for me. Sorry, I'd rather listen to Janis Joplin. You know, the rest of the yeah, but I mean, she she could she did very nicely with Tony Bennett. Kept up with him, you know. Was right in there because she started out as a jazz singer. Uh huh. You know, so that's her whole. That's her real love. You yeah. Know? So, I, I'm 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 a big fan of hers. I hate to say that. Hey, listen, we've we we've run out of time, but finally it goes I. By so quick, especially when you can see everybody. Finally, I get to see you. Do it this way from now on. It's easy. You know, we'll never get to see Bubbles, ladies and gentlemen, oh, because oh. there's no way. He doesn't even have, he has a flip phone from the past, yeah. okay? Uh, he has a courtroom sketch artist drawing pictures. Yeah. See. And, uh, but this we did because this is easier to use for the average person than, yeah. uh, than, than uh, Skype. And it looks great, and you look great, and I can't, I I, do. I'm jealous. I'm jealous because you look. As you have not aged a day since I saw you last. And I still think Ronald Reagan is president. Now now you have to say the same thing about me. You look marvelous. No, you look great. You look look good. You're alive. It's good every day. Well, every time, every time you're above ground, every day above ground is is pretty good. Well, it's like when I was was younger, somebody would say, you know, hey, I saw so and so from high school ball, and I, you know, I go, oh, what's he up to? Is good. Now somebody says, "Hey, I saw so and so." We're like, "Oh, he's still alive." That's nice. Let's, yeah, yeah. yeah well, uh, 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 just quickly, because we're running over time. But uh, Gilbert Godfrey always used to say to me, "Alex Bennett, you're still alive." <laughs> you know, and or Alex Bennett's alive. And and, and uh, one day I'm walking across the street or uh, down the street in New York City, and from across the street I hear Gilbert yell out. Alex Bennett, <laughs> you're still alive. Yeah. Anyway, thanks, and we'll talk Thank to you, you, my friend. We'll, ta- we'll talk to you in a couple of weeks, and we'll do it this way. You got it. From now on, we see each other. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. The lovely and attractive. There you can see him now for the first time in living color. Stephen Pearl. Bye, Stephen. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Five years and still talking. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Yeah, and that's our good friend Stephen Pearl, and now you can actually see him in living color. Uh, we did that because um, a lot of people are, are as technically savvy as uh, some of our people are, and uh, uh, it's just easier because with uh, with Zoom, you just send them a link, and then they call you, and I learned how to make this thing so I could put him in a little frame and everything like that. So anyway, we did it, and uh, we're happy, and we're proud, and uh, let's go to the map. Every night, we take a look at the map. We want to see how many people are not with us any longer. Totally confirmed uh, uh, to have the coronavirus. Now, this is, um, uh, I saw on Fox, they don't say total they say total reported and i think that's the best way to put it but total confirmed three million two hundred and fifty six thousand five hundred and seventy around the world who have the coronavirus total deaths get this folks do i need to show it to you let me let me let me bring it up here really big two hundred and thirty three thousand three hundred and sixty three Okay, all right. So that's what's happening in the world. Here you can see how it's going up and 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 up. But it's, um, they think it's leveling off a little bit. Let's go to the United States, ladies and gentlemen, where we're very proud to lead the world in, uh, in the coronavirus. Come on, go. All right. Come on. I push the button and you're supposed to change. There we go. All right, uh, 1,069,534 1, 
totally reported, confirmed cases in the United States. Look at that death count. Look at that. 62,996. Probably before this show is over, it'll be 63,000. Uh, it's slowing up, supposedly, but man, oh man, I, I find that hard to believe. Uh, uh, let me see here. Where, where is this? Is Italy. Oh, New York City. Here we go. New York City is at 18,069. We were down about, uh, I don't know, five or six today. We're, we're going down, but very slowly now. We've kind of slowed down. So hopefully, you know, the next couple of days we'll go under two, we'll do, go under 300 and maybe start really bottoming out. But man, it is not pretty, okay? Um, uh, Spain, uh, they're, they're, they're with 24,543 deaths. Italy uh, has, yeah, actually, you know, Spain now has more cases than Italy had. And Italy was like, you know, this horrible thing going on. Well, there's 27,967. They're almost at 28,000. Spain is still at like 24, okay? Um, Italy, uh, 27,000 deaths, okay? You hear like, yikes. Um, United Kingdom, 26,000 deaths. France, 24,000 deaths. Germany, 6,623. Of course, that's less than New York City here. You see that? There we go. And uh, this is this is us. This is what we're what we're what we're up to. Look, most of us, most of the country, it kind of looks like it's covered in red. If we go in a bit, it looks a little sparser when you get out into this area here. But then again, there's less population out there. Also, the theory that what happened was that when they blockaded California, when they blockaded the Pacific from China by banning China from coming here, all they did was they went in the uh, other direction. And um, when they went in the other direction, uh, they came through this way and see what happened? Europe got infected terribly. That's because of the Trump factor of, of closing off China to coming across this way. Because if, they, if we had known they were coming across this way, we probably could have done something to test them and so on as they were coming in. Here, they didn't even think to stop anybody, you know? So, I mean, um, that's, that's, that's how things are going. It's, uh, it's not pretty, okay? Not pretty at all. But uh, anyway, that's the way the world looks today, and uh, it's not uh, it's not terrific, and it's not uh, wonderful. So uh, anyway, that's our uh, that's our report for tonight, and see you later, folks. Now let's go. Let's see here. I gotta I gotta do a few things here because I do all this myself. You know, I switch it and I do the thing. So now I'm gonna turn on Skype and see what's gonna happen. Ah, uh, man. I hope I don't have to pee during the program tonight. Uh, I've been, uh, I, I took a new, I took one of my, I had this pill for neuropathy that I've been taking that they gave me, and it's kind of strong. Uh, and it's, um, it's, uh, the, uh, it's Lyrica, basically. I don't know what, it's a generic name for Lyrica. And I took it the other day, and all of a sudden my, my uh, urinary problems got better. I, you know, and then last night I took one, and I slept through the whole night without even having to get up. So I'm taking that, but that makes me a little loopy. And then by the end of the day now, it, it wears off, and, uh, I, well, you don't want to hear my problems, especially my urinary problems, right? Uh, that's what happens when you, when you get old and you got to have them damn prostate examinations, and then they say, oh, you know, this doesn't look good. And then they say, oh, you got to have some radiation. And before you know it, they're sticking seeds in your prostate, and your prostate is turned into a pincushion. So that's, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it, okay? All right. Let me see. The, line, the lines are open. Uh, let's see if anybody wants to call and talk with us, okay? Because I can't believe that nobody wants to call. Uh, there we go. Here comes Brian Neary. Uh, Brian's uh, 
Uh, usually always uh, the first one to call in many cases. Uh, let me see here, and I can uh, do this, and there you see Brian Neary. Oops, there he is. Hi, how you doing, Brian? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing fine. I'm, I'm you know, I'm hanging in there. What are, what are you showing me? I don't know if you can see this is, uh, can you see that? Oh, that's a sunset. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so I, I live in Amadali in San Jose, and so we have soccer fields across from us, so there's no homes for a while. So we get to see them go down the Santa Cruz Mountains every night. And so that's the Santa Cruz Mountains that we, we're seeing yes. in, in advance there. Hello there, uh, Rob Alfano. How are you this evening? I'm good. How are you? I'm, uh, do, I'm doing okay, you know. Uh, yeah. You know, yeah, I'm fine. Uh, yeah. Time you know. marches on, right? We're uh, getting there. Yeah, How long yeah. we been in quarantine now? How long? Oh, this is six weeks now. Maybe six, seven. I don't know. I March eleventh. So it could be, could be, could be seven. You know? Yeah. It's I actually possible. had a nice uh, mm -hmm. virtual happy hour today with some coworkers. We sat there. We had a cocktail, smoked a cigar outside, and just had fun. You know? It yeah. was nice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> And uh, let me see here. I got to go get some more people in here. Uh, oh, uh, let me see here. Uh, it had a hat. Let me see here. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bum. Uh, there is. Uh, let me see here. Where are we going here? Um, who who did who came on? That I oh the Charlie Wallace. That's it. Okay, and then um uh yeah and then we have uh, we have jeff here as well so he's already he's already in the space he was in last night so you had a happy hour a, virtu yeah. a virtual mm -hmm. happy hour yeah it was uh it was actually a lot of fun just uh, sitting around drinking and cutting up a little bit you yeah know, but what weird. did you do you did it on zoom did you Yes. Yeah. Was one of our one of my team members uh re took a buyout package is retiring and so hey let's uh let's get together and have a scotch. Well, I had a happy hour today with uh, Jeff and Pamela. That's right. We we did a Zoom thing and then uh, did our we it was kind of a happy hour. I mean, I don't drink. Was Marjorie drinking? I can't remember. She was drinking water, I think. Yeah, drinking water. Ooh. Yeah. And and uh well, and I, Pam and I had uh, some wine. Yeah. So. And Marjorie was on her iPad, and I was in my guest room uh, doing it from there. And, you know, it was, a, it was a nice little happy party. And then later after that, I got felt inspired, and I haven't seen my friend Shecky since this whole thing began, and then probably slightly before that as well. And so I called him, Zoomed him, and got to see him for the first time. So, you know, Zoom is easy. You know, yeah. it's mm -hmm. it's uh, very easy. I couldn't use it here. In fact, I make it look better than Zoom. Okay, um, mm -hmm. but uh, I, I also you saw. I mean, I I had the Jimmy rig to get that thing of Pearl because I did Zoom with him. So um, that was my, you know, that was my big get. By the way, let me say something. As you may notice, Phil isn't here, and I don't know if he will be. Uh, his dog died today. Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry, Phil. Yeah. I hope he's out yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, it. it uh, you know what happens is uh, when a, when a dog dies, uh, you really feel bad. You know because pets. You they almost say that you you have more of, of a a feeling of of depression over the death of a pet than you do over a person you know and love. You know, and and uh, so I really when he wrote me and told me I felt really bad for him. You know. Yeah, he mm. mentioned he mentioned it to me too. Very yeah. sad. Yeah. What he send you a, a text? Or yeah, we texted back and forth for about ten minutes. Yeah. Uh, I I basically just said uh, you know um, uh, I just wrote him back and just said I'm sorry. Mm. You know all the things you would say to somebody if their if their wife died. You know <laughs> I mean really. I'm so sorry for your loss. I mean you know what, what anybody who's owned a pet has been through it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's why I haven't had a cat in years, because I had five of them at one point. And so I had five of them die on me, at one at a time, obviously, at various yeah. stages. Yeah. And after it was over, I said, I don't want to go through this anymore, with having to put up with a pet dying on me. 
you know. And right now I won't get a pet because, you know, I'm probably going to be gone before the pet does. And the two reasons why I wouldn't get a pet is because that pet would keep looking at me going, you know, after you're gone, I'm still going to be here. And the other thing that pet, <laughs> the other thing, especially cats would look at you that way. And the other reason is, is that a pet would say to you, uh, a pet, um, uh, if I if I if I died, I'd leave him with nobody. I mean, if Marjorie then died, and then the cat, you know, because at this age, who knows what's going to happen to us? We could live to be a hundred. We could live to be until next year, and that's it, you know. Or if I get the corona, you know, I'm out of here. Alex. Yes. You know, um, this really effed up my birthday really bad. Uh, the corona, because mm -hmm. you know, you guys are having the parties and all that. Yeah, I wish I knew people that would Zoom me and I could have a cocktail party. Well. I, uh, you know how uh, Patrick always has his anniversary and all that? Mm -hmm. Well, that's, uh, you know, I used to do that on my birthday. I would go out to a place and have, you know, like a lunch with, you know, some drinks. And, you know. Is it, your, is it and, your birthday today? No, no, it was like April 22nd. Oh, then, then the hell with you. That's already passed. We don't have to even think No, but it. I mean, it screwed it up. Like, I couldn't even go because, you know. Seven, the seventeenth of March, it, it screwed it up all our, got locked it, down and everything. It screwed up our I wedding. I couldn't even have a Zoom birthday. It screwed up our wedding anniversary. You know, we had oh, yeah, we were I going to the restaurant and everything like that. We, you know, we couldn't go. We had to cancel it. And the restaurant said, "Good thing you canceled it because we're not open anyway." So you know, and um, did you hear uh, Cuomo today? Yeah, I hear him every because, day. And I heard like almost everybody. And then my electricity went out for a while, but. Um, they said something about January. There's a, a vaccine, and that uh, drug you were talking about is remdesivir. Remdesivir. Last night. Yeah, yeah. 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 So what do you think about that? We might not have Christmas, but I always want to skip Christmas. So. Well, I d I don't know what's going to happen. What, uh, uh, Rob, any idea? Uh, Brian, uh, Charlie, Jeff, what's going to happen? Are we? Is this going to just we persist? Know. We don't know. Are we, are we, yeah, 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 Jimmy, Jeff. Tur away, turn on, turn on your mic, Jeff. Yeah. Oh, I'm on. No, oh, you are on. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I well, because I I think that there's a a damn good chance that we're gonna uh, get something going in the right direction. You think so? Yeah. Yeah, and but I think it'll it'll, it'll may not be a hundred percent what it is. And it may not be what we're going to see in two years or whatever, but I think there's a start that they feel pretty confident about it. Yeah. Do you think? I mean, if you can get the virus and know that there's a treatment for it, even yeah. if you know, then you're not so afraid of getting it. Yes. Yeah. You know, the, the yeah. fear is, oh yeah, you've got it. You stay home because we can't do anything for you. And if you can't breathe, we'll put you on a respirator in the hospital. That's like, that's, you know, good luck. But that's what we got. Choice. And if you go on a respirator, there's about a 20% chance right. you're going to survive if they think it's that bad at that point. Yeah. And um, uh, if, if you had some kind of, uh, you know, fix for it that could uh, slow it down and make it better, then people would feel more, a little, Absolutely. A little more comfortable. Yes, yeah. Brian, you had your hand up. Yeah, I, I just think that no, even if they have a cure right now and everybody's fine and everything is good, if we don't spend any money and take care of this for the next time, Bill Gates was on one of the shows tonight and talked about that, you know, less than 5% I of saw our that. budget, we would need to be able to juice everything up, have stuff in storage for, for PP&E and all these other things that he that he sees to do almost like the pandemic playbook that Obama had, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have to spend some kind of money and we don't reduce all the, the military and all this other stuff. And mm -hmm. then it's terribly wasted. Yeah. Yeah. I think we learned that there are more dangerous things out there than military. Um, exactly. You know, military haps, things that can happen. Well, the question is, the question is, have we learned our lesson? You know, we, we forget very fast. Okay. And, and if we don't do something to make sure that this, we can't make sure it'll never happen again. We can make sure that if it does happen again, we're prepared to fight it. And my, my feeling is 
we're, we're not really doing that. We're just trying to cure the problem. And once it's cured, uh, you know, I mean, Trump wants everybody back to work because he wants a good economy by the time he runs for president. And the fact yeah. is, I mean, California, the governor just said, I let you go to the beaches. You didn't act responsibly. Now we're closing them down again. Here you go. Yep. You know, you've been a bad kid. Go to your room. Didn't Cuomo do that originally with the parks in New York? He kept them open. Yes, he kept them open. And when he saw that people were just getting too close to each other and everything, he closed down the parks. You know, to do it. Bad, bad people. You can't do that. You know, spoiled um, people. Yeah, I mean, I saw those pictures of uh, the beaches in California this week, and I said, "Are these people fucking crazy?" You know, they think, oh, well, I can't get it, or if I get it, it's not going to be that bad, and they're absolutely right, but they don't think about that they're going to go home, and they're going to breathe in grandma's face, and she's going to die. Yeah, this one guy they interviewed getting a haircut, this young kid, and I don't know if he's from Georgia or from where, and they said, why are you risking getting a haircut? You don't have a mask on. The hair, the person cutting your hair did. And he said, oh, I'm a, I'm a low risk, because he was a young kid. He said, oh, I'm low risk, and this and this and this. I'm like, oh, my gosh. Why would the guy letting him cut? Why would the guy wearing the mask allow the, pay, the, 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 the guy in the seat? No mask, yeah. no haircut. Yeah, yeah, because they're supposed to protect. Well, that's the other that's that, that should be the rule now, right? I mean, no they, mask, no haircut. They, they're no doing serve, that. Like, no shoes, no service. They're, they're, they're doing that at. No ticket, uh, no shirt, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're they're doing that at. Uh, there's there's Kevin. Hello, Kevin. How are you? Uh, they're doing that at Costco. You can't get into Costco now if you don't have a mask. You know. They're late on that, Alex. Uh, 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 <laughs> Everybody else was. Yeah, requiring masks. Well, no, they weren't late. Uh, they, not, they're, they're, they're not a lot of people. Not, people were they saying we would prefer if you wore a mask, but they didn't say you have to wear a mask to come in here. But now Costco says you have to wear a mask, and if you don't, you don't come in. You know, you guys mentioned that no, thing. no Kirkland products for you. <laughs> I saw an interview with a barber in one of those states where. He's getting fined, like, I, th I think he said, like, $1,000 a day for being open. Mm -hmm. And the, it was a female reporter, and she was getting really steamed at him and saying, how can you justify this, that you're getting, you know, and to me, it, it seemed like he was eating that $1,000 because he was saying, I'm putting food on the table of my barbers and food on my family's table. And it was like, I guess he made enough money every day to be able to pay that thousand dollar fine and she was really like you know at yelling at him like and you know like it's not right or whatever i don't know but uh, you know to me i got the gist out of it that he'd rather be open pay that thousand dollar fine and whatever they were just going back and forth today i don't know what state well was, I, I just, I just think these him. people that, that have this attitude of it's my constitutional right to not yeah, blah, blah, blah. Oh, can I finish, Charlene? Thing. Please let me finish when sorry, I talk. Sorry, sorry. Um, um, uh, um, now I forgot what I was going to say. Sorry, I, I'm, sick of, the, I'm sick of these right. people who have this attitude that they don't have to do their part in this. You know, that it's their constitutional right for me to leave my house or to go where. No, it's, but it's not your constitutional right to kill me, you know. Uh, I mean, uh, isn't it life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness? And I think life is the first one in that triumvirate, okay? Then there's liberty, and then there's the pursuit of happiness, I think is how it's spelled. Um, <laughs> and it is the pursuit of it, not happiness. <laughs> yeah, the pursuit of happiness. Yeah. And we pursue it all the time, and we never succeed at catching it. We're, it's like the roadrunner and the uh, coyote. You know, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's what those Roadrunner and Coyote cartoons were all about, was the pursuit of happiness. You know, he was always, if he caught that Roadrunner, life was going to be wonderful. Yeah. Never, never going to catch the Roadrunner, you know. Um, but, it, it, you know, I mean, these people are being inconsiderate. They don't know how to, I mean, the thing I love about New Yorkers is New Yorkers really have taken this to heart. It's like a badge of courage on their part. Hey, I stayed inside. I did my part, you know. Uh, you look out in the streets, and they're, they're, they're really empty at midday. They show pictures of, uh, of uh, like, outside Fox's window, which is 6th Avenue. There's hardly any traffic, and there's no foot traffic. And that's because people have taken to heart what our governor has asked us to do, and we're doing it. 
And uh, uh, I, I'm very proud of New Yorkers for that, you know. But my question is, if tomorrow, let's say, they came up with the, with the, uh, the, the vaccine, which they, by the way, the vaccine, the one that was done at Oxford in, uh, in, in, in England, that is supposedly works, okay, but they just haven't put it through all the tests they got to put it through to make sure it's safe and it's, it works and so on. Uh, probably you mean will, that, that I won't grow a third testicle? No, no. They, okay. they say <laughs> it'll be ready probably by January. But in the meantime, the company which makes it, which was, I'm trying to remember which company it was, uh, is making up 100 million doses to be ready Wow! when it's approved. Wow. That's was how much they... Hmm? We started doing that, too. When, was when it we, Pfizer? <clears throat> I, I don't well, know. Gilead is making up... Gilead, a Gilead. Gilead. That's yeah. who it is. Okay. Yeah, they're yeah. out of Foster City over here. Yeah, uh, either that or, also, I, or out of King Arthur's Court. Uh, I have yeah. no idea. The name Gilead <laughs> seems to... Well, their, their stock went from 84 to 104 the other day, and then it went right back to 84 yesterday, or today. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and there's a lot of money to be an made. Eye on a company called Merck, you know, Merck Medical. Mm -hmm. they, they've got a, um, a vaccine they're working on, too, but they're being very quiet about it because they don't want a lot of attention to it. Yeah. Why? I read something about them, yeah. They won't, they're trying to be low-key because they don't want a lot of attention to it so that they can just kind of come out and say, okay, it works, here it is. Well, they found that uh, that a uh, taking a constant eating a constant supply of toilet paper will <laughs> cure the co <laughs> the COVID uh, 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 virus. So, I can't think straight today. I'm, I have my took my happy <laughs> pill today. Uh, Told you that Lyrica will really screw you up. Yeah, it is Lyrica, and but it you know what it does? It really helps with the effect of the uh, of the prostate radiation and the urinary problems. Uh, that stuff screwed me up, along with some Balta. Both of those really whacked well, me up. Well, this thing whacked me up, but, you know, the hell with it. I'll live with it for a couple of days. It's because it keeps me from having to pee every five minutes. You know, <laughs> so if, if it it did that, you know, I don't only take one a day, and that's it. I don't know how many you took. Uh, uh, I took it for about two, three weeks, and I couldn't deal with it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, you know, if I go to La La Land, so what? You know, you guys yeah. can take up the slack. I might go with you, Alex. I'm on gabapentin. Oh, well, this <laughs> that's is, that's it's the same. Thing. It's basically the same thing, except this is a a, a better formula, uh, to be honest. What is it, Alex? It's gab it? It's it's a form of gabapentin, but it was it was called Lyrica, and it's uh, called uh, something statin. No, what is it? Uh, um, pregabalin. I'll ask them about that. that as, opposed, as opposed to post gabalin. Ask your doctor about. Yeah, about pre gabalin. Right. And then I love why, yeah. where they list all the side effects you might have. Side effects what might include they? diarrhea, you know, explosive That's diarrhea. No, uh, I don't want that. <laughs> no, no, no. But anyway. Um, so, uh, you know, my question is I mean, you know, given that they come up with something. Okay, let's say tomorrow they come up with something that they give you in the hospital and it minimizes the effects of the coronavirus and people don't have to be put on respirators and you know that even if you get it, even people my age will be okay, all right? And that's entirely possible. This resetivir may do that. However, let's say that happens. Let's say we have uh, the inoculation, the vaccination. Still, what's our life going to be after this, you know? Yes, Brian. So I was going to ask you a while ago. So, you know, being in New York City, I mean, with the with 9-11 and everything, I mean, do you think things just went back to normal? And I mean, we know they're terrorists and know all that stuff. But I mean, I sort of had the same question. How, how do you think are we going to go back to normal where it just starts being baseball games? again? Well, going back to normal after um, after that situation. OK. Mm -hmm wasn't really a problem, okay? Uh, well, and, and the reason it wasn't a problem is because it was a different kind of event. It was an event over, over which we had no control. Boom, 3,000 people get killed. Now we have to, like, clean up the rubble, rebuild, and move on, okay? Which New Yorkers are very good at. This is something that's a constant threat and has 
altered your daily behavior. I don't think anybody's yeah. behavior was altered because of 9-11, uh, outside of the for fact For a few that, days it was. Uh, for a few I, days. I lived through it. Yeah, but... For about a week, 10 yeah, days, yeah, yes. Yeah, but not like this. No. Not like this where I'm afraid to go outside. Yes, Kevin. You're wrong. You see how see how much you've gotten used to it. You got to go through security checks. You got to go through all this crap now yeah. that you didn't have to do before. That's now true. your alterations, your life, you're used to it now. Yeah. Look at all the security checks you got to go through. Look at all the 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 changes in the life that you had after 9/11. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff that we changed. Now ID. it's just second nature. What were you saying? Uh, 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 Charlie? I said, you got to get a special ID. I had to get a special new... That's I right. wasn't up for a new driver's license, but you had to get a new driver's license with the seal on it, yeah. or else you couldn't There's use it for your ID. Stuff. There's still stuff going on that we have to do because of 9-11. Yeah. Constantly. Right. And, you know, you go to a, you go to a baseball game. You got to get checked at the front gate. You, yeah. you know, that stuff's still going on. These are security so precautions. we've got though. adjusted. But uh, what I'm saying is what yeah. we've altered. Yes, Jeff. Well, I was going to say that at, from 9-11, from my perspective at, at my engineering company, we, our customers didn't want to call up. They, they were too busy being scared yeah, to really? do anything. And they were going like, uh, well, I don't know. And you call them up, and they don't pick up the phone, you know. And and this took probably oh almost a year before it went back to normal for us. Yeah, but what I'm saying here is this is something that has altered our day to day patterns, and also where we will go and where we won't go. I don't know about you, I'm probably never going to a movie theater again. You know, be, uh, and I don't care what they do. They can have one seat in the entire theater, and I'm not going to a movie theater again. But you know that they're, they're, they don't want to open up a theater and have every other seat missing because that means they're going to not make the same kind of money they were making. Well, once, the, once there's a vaccine, why wouldn't you go? You know, we've been yeah. through plenty of uh, viruses and, and things where we, once we have a vaccine, we wipe it out. Yeah. Well, but nevertheless, I think that, that uh, we saw what happened. You know, there could be another virus coming along right behind it yep. that would do the same thing. Oh, there and, could be another bomb go through a building, too. Yeah, but, but the, the right. fact of the matter is, though, there could, I think there's an easier chance of another virus coming this way. Uh, I don't know I'm, about that. And, and uh, I just think that uh, I, would, I would not see myself going to a movie theater after this is over with. You I've know. been trying to think the same thing because I've got 49er tickets, season tickets to the 49ers. Yeah. What am I going to do with them this year? That's I, that's what's going through my head. Mm -hmm. And I already prepaid for them. I'm pre paying for a seat license that I got another three years to pay on. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm stuck with them. What am I going to do with them? I can't sell them because probably a lot of other people is thinking the same thing. Don't you get a refund? Hell no. Wow, uh, really? Uh, oh, no, they don't refund stuff. They credit you for next year. Okay. Uh, what am I going to okay. do well, next year? You're not losing. Is. Okay, Brian. What Brian. am I going to do next year? Who knows? Yeah, so, so Brian now, has his hands up. So for Christmas, I got the family. usually get them trips. And so <clears throat> I got a trip. Uh, Norwegian ship. It's the new cruise ship. Has the go-kart racing on it and all the cool stuff. So we've been on the Disney cruise before. So we're doing this one, and it's for June. Obviously, we're not going. <laughs> I, wanted to cancel. <laughs> I wanted to cancel and the same thing they're like oh no don't worry we're gonna give you a credit you can use that you know and get get it scheduled between now and december mm -hmm. and i'm going back there and say i don't feel comfortable going on a cruise ship anymore right i right. want my money back that's not fighting back and forth you know um, I, well i never would feel comfortable being on a cruise ship anyway because i just think it's i don't want to be stuck on a boat with all those people from <laughs> Miami, oh. you know, but I mean, the <laughs> thing is that that the problem is, is that um, the cruise ships are are literally floating petri dishes. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, and they've and they knew that, and they've done nothing to prevent that. You know, they they should have 
done more hand washing and everything like that for people who were coming on the ship and, and decontamination on a constant basis when people were sleeping, go down the hallways and, you know, run the disinfectant through. No, they weren't doing any of that. You know, and then when they knew they had a problem, they didn't do anything about it. They still stayed out at sea and let people try to think they were having a vacation when, in fact, it was getting to be a real Petri dish. Uh, I think that business is in big trouble because even my friend Shecky, who loved taking cruises, said, I don't know. I don't think so. In fact, a couple of months ago, before all of this, he got rid of his, uh, he got rid of his stock in, uh, in cruise ships. But, you know, here's something that will make you mad. Folks, this one will piss you off. Everybody, listen closely. Do you know? Do you know how much um, uh, Panama Cruises, which owns things like the Princess, uh, what is it, the uh, Ocean Princess, or whatever those those ships are? Yeah. Do you know how much our government gave him? Gave yeah. gave that guy a billion dollars. Do you know where that ship is registered? Panama. Most of them are. Very yeah. few are registered well, in no, this country. Well, no, the, the com major company, which is the Princess Cruise, and the, they are a whole bunch of them, maybe even the Disney one, are out mm. of Panama. They're part of right. the Panama Cruise uh, organization. Mm. They got one billion, with a B, dollars. That's money that was taken away from the small shop owner, from yeah. uh, the, the person who could least afford... To 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 make to lose money, and what are you giving them a billion dollars for? They, if tomorrow everything is better, they're not suddenly going to have people flooding onto those ships. Not after the way they handled this, you know. And they won't show the list. I heard they won't show the list of the companies that they're giving money to, and they gave Barron's, you know, Trump's uh, school money, also millions or millions of dollars, and that's Trump's like son. Yeah. See the list. Can we see the list that all the money went to? And they won't show the list. Wow. That's interesting. Yeah, I'm still stuck on the last thing, Alex, that you were saying. Mm -hmm. What's different than 9-11 or something? Mm -hmm. the, the way people are dressing. Like, uh, you know, 9-11 people didn't have to wear PPE. You know, that's going to be, a, I think they're still going to be wearing that for a long time. Yeah. When, when these businesses open, I've already seen what they're doing in those states that are open now. Like, you know, those, uh, what do they call them, the things they're uh, 3D printing, the visors, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, the like the, you know, yeah. not a spit Face guard. Mask. The visors. Yeah, those things. Yeah. The face shields. Yeah. yeah, the shields. Like uh, your waiter in the restaurant now is going to have a face shield. You know, like, I mean, the dentist already had that a little bit and stuff, but like not just medical people now, sure. like hairdressers and uh, waiters and things like that. You know, the, everyone's going to have like, uh, like almost like hazmat and you know PPE and gloves. But Sanitation. until when? Yeah, I, I don't. Think Maybe forever. forever. You know. I don't think so. You don't think well, so? Don't oh, you don't think so, Kevin? I think nursing. Yeah. Do you let Kevin talk, please, Charlene? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let, let Kevin talk. Yes, Kevin. Okay. I think once we get a handle on the virus and get the vaccines and the therapies going, I think it's going to go back to semi-normal, you know, there'll be, there'll be precautions to take and there'll be seasons for this thing. But if we can get a handle on what it is, it's going to be like any other flu. And then we'll just be waiting for the next one. Okay, I, you know, but, but this you, has you, just you, been you... a really bad one and we've had to take extra precautions. We've had to attack it a different way. Um, but it's going to be one of those things that we, you know, th there's always been a flu every year and there's been, you know, therapies for it. And we've attacked it every year with our flu shots and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And what's going to happen is that that's going to what this will become once we figure out what it is. This has just been a different type of virus. Every day we find it out. We find out that it's something different than we thought it was. Right. I mean, when we suddenly thought, well, we know what it is, it attacks the lungs, and then, and then, and then all of a sudden we're finding that 25 year olds are dying of strokes, you know, because right. of this. I mean, it affects, it, it, it supposedly affects the, uh, the blood flow. Uh, it, it can, it, it, Brian, you seem respiratory. to. The, well, it's, it's respiratory. Well, it's respiratory. But it also does something with the, uh, the, the veins and things like that and blocks them up. Uh, this is a this is a wicked wicked 
thing. Yeah, I, there's a lot of coronaviruses. There are a lot of coronaviruses, but this one is particularly <laughs> right. vicious, vicious. And and what happens is we we will we'll take care of this, I'm sure. But are we going to be ready for the next one? And have we learned anything from this? And that's the big question. Have we learned anything from this? And I think the answer is I I don't honestly believe that we have learned anything from this. You know. So I, mean, I think we've learned something. It's just uh, you know we're going to learn more. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, we learned something out of it. We learned that we were too slow. Yeah, and um, uh, but you know, I mean, we we have a president, for instance, who absolutely refuses refuses to acknowledge that he did anything wrong. You know uh, that that he was too late to the to to the party. Oh, I I I, I, all he can say is I closed off China to the United States. Yeah, but he didn't. And he did really. He, you know, maybe he was only doing it because he hated China and he wanted to get even with them on some level, you know. And uh, I, uh, you know, that 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 was uh, his. Uh, I'm looking for Goomba sixty one. There he is, and we got uh, Ray Renati. There he is. Okay, hi I Ray. Think we also learned that we needed more international cooperation, and and it's probably due to the uh, the the troubled waters that we had with the leader that we have right now we probably we probably had that we didn't get good cooperation because of the leadership we have right now well i mean he went he went after china in the way he did because he didn't like china and it was a good and they were pissed it off was a maybe good ex- they didn't ex- want to tell us good you know? ex- maybe he said oh you know we'll let you know yeah well oh. anyway he, he it, that that wasn't the the answer because you know, if you didn't think they could go over to like London and Paris and places like that and then come to the United States, you weren't even watching that side of the United States. And proof positive that they weren't and that the president wasn't, look at the infection rate on the East Coast of the United States. Right. I and mean, now he's pissing off WHO, which I think is probably a big mistake. Worse mistake. It's a worse mistake. If you piss off the WHO, you're just pissing off. Everybody. It's like your house is getting robbed and you piss off the cops. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's just stupid. And I, I, not going to make things any better. Do you think. But don't he, worry. Q3 and Q4 are going to be tremendous. Yeah. Fantastic. They're going to be tremendous. Yeah. 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 And like this flu is going to be nothing. It's going to be like the common cold. You know? It's going to ma- miraculously disappear. It's going to. When it gets when it, when it gets warmer. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know, it's gonna it's just gonna go magically go away. Isn't that right, doctor? And then the doctor goes, I'll look into it, you know. <laughs> I mean, uh, he, he kept coming up with all these stupid dumb ideas, you know. Uh, he had no concept of what this was about. You know. Oh, I mean, uh, John uh, turned down something there cuz you got uh you causing yeah. a problem. Yeah, okay, good. The one thing I do like about, um, by the way, about um, Zoom is that if I, somebody were to do something like that, I could turn off their audio. Mm. You know, we're here with Skype, you can't turn off their audio. But I'll bet you within months, Skype is going to have all the features that Zoom has, you know, because they have to, unless they're stupid. And I've been dealing with them for years, and I assume they are stupid. Anyway, but is Skype going to Teams? There's another yes. one called Teams. That's business, Skype's though. Skype, going, yeah. Skype for business is yeah. uh, being deprecated. Teams has yeah. taken over. Yeah, yeah, because we do Zoom at work, and that's what they're saying. There, uh, they say right now t- uh, the the Teams can only handle like four at a time, but then they're beta testing it for a bigger population, so. A lot of businesses are going to start going into that. I find I'm only good for about ten at a time, and that's it. You know, for this, and then all of a sudden it starts affecting all the other pictures. Um, um, I I've seen Zoom with we had like twenty people on the other night, and it it works okay, but it becomes more, it, it's a little more difficult to navigate once you've got that many people. You know, you, you imagine me. It's difficult enough that I have uh, eight people here, and I have to like. Uh, you know, 
call call on you and you raise your hand and you do this and you do that, you know, and um, so we have to, you know, it, it it's uh, it's really unwieldy if you've got 20 people, uh, and I would never want that. Uh, I was thinking about some, trying something new and putting Zoom up and then just saying on my Facebook page, well, you can call and talk to each other and just put it up on, the, on, on, on YouTube uh, or Facebook. That's a possibility, you know. But uh, anyway, uh, the thing is that, that Trump and everything he's done has been motivated by, I want to win the next election. And it's not motivated by smart thinking. I mean, the one thing Cuomo talks about constantly every day in Hammer's home is, yes, we want to open. Yes, we want to get everybody out of their houses. Yeah, we want to do all of that, but we've got to be smart. We can't be stupid about this. And what we have to look at is data and see, you know, if we see those numbers coming down, coming down, coming down, that doesn't mean we're suddenly going to take our foot off the, off the pedal. We're going to make it go down even more. But if we say now that we're going to let certain businesses start coming into being again, we have to set up rules and we have to do it slowly. And if the numbers start going up, we back off. You know, he says it's like you have a, he had a picture of a valve and all these other little things like businesses and so on. And he says here, you know, you just turn it on a little bit and see what happens. Turn on a little bit more. He says, but whatever we do, we've got to be smart. And that's really what this is all about is being smart. Um, and it, it, you know, um, it, what what really pissed me off in the last couple of days, and he doesn't let up on it, is Mitch McConnell with his whole attitude about, oh, the states should declare bankruptcy. Do you know that states aren't allowed to declare bankruptcy? Well, and as, as Cuomo said, you know, you don't know what you're talking about, Mitch, because we can't declare bankruptcy. But if you'd like us to... Why don't you pass the law, okay, Mitch, and see what happens? You know, try and run that one through the Senate, all right? Um, and what he's pissed off about is he's pissed off about the fact that, uh, 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 you know, that, that Mitch McConnell is asking, uh, is saying, oh, well, screw, he, at one point he said, let them go bankrupt because they're all blue states, because it seems the most heavily hit states have been blue states, I guess, because us Democrats don't know how to not get colds or how to yeah. get colds. Um, and and that you, you know, because they're all blue states, no, we shouldn't give them money. I mean, how cruel is that? Did you see his whole thing about how much money the red states take yes. versus yes. They, what they pay in? We, that what, was what, brilliant. What happens is every state sends money to the federal government is his portion of taking care of the government. Okay. Right. And then when they need money, they take stuff out from the government. Uh, New York, something, I don't know how many billions of dollars, like $125 billion sure. a year they pay to the federal government. And we don't take back a single penny. Meanwhile, Kentucky, Mitch McConnell's home, <laughs> right? Pays absolutely nothing mm -hmm. and takes a whole bunch of it and so he said taken? he said that what's happening here mitch is cities like new york uh, states like new york are supporting kentucky right mm -hmm. you know and and uh he's uh, and he just he's been blasting them every day that he can that was one of the most brilliant things i've i've i was so amazed by listening to that i was mesmerized by it yeah i mean it's he, fascinating well Great you know what job. it is it, it uh, uh cuomo has often been accused of somehow being flying off the handle you know he's got kind of a loose cannon at times but damn it he's just a new yorker that's all yeah. you know and, Did and you hear the latest? What that the uh, the deaf people are suing Cuomo for not oh, having uh, a hand sign. Yeah, I, the... I, I I didn't oh. know that, but I was saying to Marjorie, he doesn't have anybody doing signing. Yeah, and and now uh, he's being sued because of it. Well, what uh, I had a reason why I thought that. that oh, I know why I said I think the reason he doesn't have a signer, and there's a good reason, 
every word he says is on the screen, on the side. Like in the, a PowerPoint. In the PowerPoint. So they don't need to be able to hear him. All they need to do is to read the PowerPoint, and they will pretty much read everything he's saying. You know. Didn't they have? Didn't they have some people doing like some real? And if it's nine eleven or something, and then they had somebody signing on the side, and they found out that the person wasn't even signing. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They had somebody. Oh, that was that, that guy. Yeah. Well, that was, was down in Africa, wasn't it, with Mandela or something? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. he had a guy who was signing, but he wasn't signing. He didn't know how to sign. <laughs> Every time I see somebody signing, I'm thinking like they're not even doing it. Well, well if you might notice, be a Saturday Night Live. If right. you notice, a lot correct. of times, on, right? <laughs> what, what, if you notice a lot of times those those signers, you'll see him signing and the the speaker is speaking, but he's done speaking and they cut off the video and the, he's not they're not done signing because my daughter she goes she he wasn't done it. saying what they were saying when they were signing she's she reads sign language yeah so yeah they're not done because why, you, why do they cut it off well also sometimes they go and they show the audience right behind they do something like show the audience or show some something else and they're not showing the signer at the time yeah uh so it's all in service of trying to be politically correct but you know, right? I say, right. you know what I say? I say, fuck the deaf. Okay, so um, you know, you. if they can't hear it, then hey, you they know, can't if hear it, you say that. They, well, we don't, they don't sign uh, Donald Trump, do they? When he speaks, I don't see them doing. They don't want to hear it. You know, <laughs> and and, uh, and uh, quite frankly, signs. you know, it's a good, yeah. uh, <laughs> there you go. You know something? I would hate to be in in a, in a political office because everybody is suing you for everything. You know? I mean, if they let that lawsuit go through, it, they make it a mockery of the courts. Come on, really? You're suing because of it? Yeah. yeah. How do you prove damages? They're just trying yeah. to get attention so they'll have a signer there. That's it. Mm. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, deaf people, uh, what is your case? What is huh? your case? Huh? What is your case? <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I, I know. Hi, hi, John. How you doing? Good. How you doing? <laughs> Still stuck in the house, huh? Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty cooped up here. I'm just in a little studio, so, you know. But did you see that the billboard in Kentucky? It's got a picture of um, McConnell and his wife, and they're sitting there. And they're going, "We're rich. How y'all doing?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I understand. Uh, I understand. Our vice president wore a mask today to oh, something. Yeah. 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 Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Went, he went to uh, where was he? He was he went to GM, I think, and wore a mask. And, and I, I'm trying to figure out, you don't wear a mask to the Mayo Clinic, but you wear a mask to GM? Do you know something we don't bathroom. know? What? It's probably going to the bathroom. Yeah. I mean, what are they doing at GM? Packing meat because they can't make cars right now? I mean, what are they doing? Right. They repurpose GM. They're making GM. <laughs> ventilators there, aren't they? Yeah, they're making ventilators. Was oh, that why he went there? You know, I mean, uh, I mean, yeah. these were all morons yeah, because they, uh, there's nobody in that administration that realizes that you you lead by uh, exactly. by example, yeah. and uh, the fact that Pence didn't wear one, you know, he maybe he didn't have to wear one, maybe he's safe, okay, uh, no. but I don't think so, you know. And what's going to be interesting is uh, Trump's going to Arizona next week for what? Oh, he's just gonna go. Yeah, he's gonna go, he's gonna go and was it just a say hi tour? Is that what it is? I Wait, think so. You can't. And nobody's you can't. supposed to go. It's supposed yeah. to be a no no people show up type thing. And he's going to a manufacturing place or something. Well, why they is won't, he going, they won't why? say much about it? But he's supposed to go to Arizona. Why is he going to Arizona? That's the least impacted area. That's the big area. question. They yeah. think that the, because they think it's because you know it's all speculation, but they think it's because that was a close state for him, and so he's going to go down there and probably try and drum up some redness. And Martha McSally's losing in the polls. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Well, what's he going to do? Go down there to help her lose? Yeah, know. It, you know. Probably gonna. Hopefully. Boy, today I've been them having. them all up and bring them out with their guns, <clears throat> and they'll go out there and spit on each other or something. I've been having a heavy chest today. 
a little, mm. little wheezing today, but nothing, you know, not the coronavirus. I keep, I keep, keep taking my temperature. Like when I take it, I take about three times to make sure it's, you know, because every time you put your uh, uh, te- a, a, a thermometer in your mouth these days, it's a different temperature. But as long as it's always above 98.6, I'm happy. Uh, but uh, a- anyway, I uh, it, 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 I can't it, you know I can't see why you know why he's going to my, to Arizona. I mean, if he if he truly wanted to go out and and see the devastation and whatever, come to New York, go to Boston, you know, go to Chicago. Um, but he won't stick his nose in any of those places. No, wants to visit the kids in the cages. See how they're doing. Yeah, yeah. The kids yeah. in the cages. Yeah, you know they haven't mentioned if that's a coronavirus. That's right, he probably uh, wants to what, say hello. It, what were you sign the wall? What are those you, people what, in danger okay, of coronavirus what, outbreak? Yeah. What were you saying, Ray? Well, he can, you know, just to say hello. You know, how's it going here in your cages? Well, you know, the least he could do is come to New York, which is his hometown, and you know, and and not press the flesh, but just say, hey, the, your government's with you, you know. Yeah. Um, you know, hey, you Ray, Ray, were you getting unemployment, or did you apply for unemployment? I remember last time I heard I, you on your saying. I didn't get any. I have to do it this new way, even though. What happened was, is the last theater I worked at was supposed to give me a W-2, and they accidentally gave me a 1099, and so I got zilch. So I got a. Um, you can get you can get coronavirus pay though, can't you? There's a can. Yeah. yeah, as of like yesterday or the day before. So I have to figure out how to apply for that. Wow. Well, no. But but I'm supposed to do it the normal way because I was supposed to get a W-2, but they made a mistake. So I don't know what to do. By the way, John Larkin, I have a a suggestion for you. You're a little blurry, and I think it's because your lens is dirty. Like Tony's. Yeah, it's like it's it's the tone it's it's the Tony effect. And if you can, yeah, yeah, look at that, look at that. See, see. Now we can see you. Much much better. Yeah, look at that, folks. It's like, uh, um, I mean, that's the lens I should be using at my age. But you know, there we go. Oh, wow. Wow, you were that was filthy. Wow. Ah. Alex? Yes. Alex, before yes. you go, uh, my scarf isn't quite right, but I'm trying to do a scarfy impression. No, oh, okay. All right. Yeah. She hasn't we haven't seen Scarfy and uh, they're appearing elsewhere now. They're not appearing with Trump at all. Uh neither Everyone is, calls neither, her Scarfy. Neither is, neither is Fauci. Uh Scarfy was oh, there Fauci today. Is much was Scarfy like there where, where, where was she today? What the, the, there was a uh, conference today. I don't know where it was, but he had a conf- uh, press conference today, and she was there. Really? But nobody likes Scarfy. Everybody loves Fauci, but everybody hates Scarfy. I don't know Scarfie. why they hate Scarfy. I don't think. Uh, 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 Brian, do you I find know, her particularly sad. a problem? <laughs> No, nah, she's doing her job. She I mean, just kind of sits there with her scarf. Will you let Brian finish with what he was saying? Sorry, sorry. Jeez, please, Charlotte. No, I, I, think she, I think she's doing her job. You know? I, yeah. She's yeah. trying to keep her job. I need these guys to, to clearly do their job. I think she's doing the best she can under what she's doing. Uh, how Fauci has kept his mouth shut. You know, I mean, he's done it. Su- he's put him down subtly by just getting up and negating everything he's just said. But I mean, if I were Fauci, I'd, I'd, I'd if I had a gun, I'd want to shoot him. You know, the one video of him going like that though is so classic. It's he's so like, funny. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> he just caught him in the background so bad. Yeah, Charlie, how's everything in Texas? You're opening up well, everything we're going there. Back to work tomorrow. It, oh, really? Oh. Yeah, he's opening everything up. No, no testing. Ooh. Nobody can get testing, but we're opening up, up everything. <laughs> There's no testing, and everybody can go back to work. Yep. And Magic. they're op- they're opening up the movie theaters, are they? I I don't know if they're opening up the movie theaters, but you know, restaurants can open up for people sitting in the yeah. restaurants and all that stuff. Yeah. Softball. Mar- Marjorie said. No, to- I haven't heard anything about softball, but that's huh. just here in Austin. It might be uh, in Dallas or other places. It might. Well, you know, Marjorie's been working from home, and uh, and 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 she likes it. Um, but uh, if she said tomorrow, they said come back to work, 
She says, I don't know if I'd be so fast to go back to work. You know, I'm, a lot of people say that because, you know, it isn't so much that she has mm. to go and go into her office, which is probably the cleanest part of the whole trip. Um, Jesus, I'm having some problems with uh, with our signal. Oh, boy. Son of a bitch. Oh, if it's reconnecting. OK. Oh, it stopped. It stopped streaming. Yeah. Oh, boy. I can see you. Hmm. I can yeah, still yeah see we're you. back. We're back on again. We're back okay. on again. Yeah, right. Uh, it it uh, for some reason there we had a, we had a problem with my uh, OBS here, but it's back working again. So anyway, just uh, everybody, come back, come back to me, come back to me. Just uh, <laughs> we're sorry it went out. The, the, I'm sure it didn't kill the uh, recording of it, so that'll be fine. Um, Did truck run out of electricity huh? yesterday for? <laughs> I didn't see any glitch. Well, uh, 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 yes, uh, yes, Charlie. Wait a minute, Charlie. Yeah, and the way they're doing it in Texas is if you don't go back to work tomorrow, mm -hmm. you can't get unemployment. Mm. They're they're oh. gonna they assume that you quit, so you're not eligible for unemployment. Oh really? So you either go back to work and maybe die, or you can't get unemployment. Well, here, here's, the, here's the reason why she won't go back to work. It's not that she's worried about the the work environment. Okay. She's worried about getting there, you know, Absolutely. having to take a lift, which the guy may not have cleaned the back seat, or uh, having to take a subway to get there. Uh, I don't think these are things a lot of people are going to want to do immediately. So, mm -hmm. you know, maybe going back to work is easier in the environment of Texas where um, you're deep in the heart of. Everybody's uh, <laughs> got a car. Huh? Yes, uh, yes, Ray. I just have a question for Charlie. Does that apply if you're somebody who has like a pre-existing condition, like uh, a lung problem, or you're over sixty? Do, do you still have to go back to work, even though you're putting yourself at horrible risk? Hmm. Yeah, that's what they're doing. If you don't go back to work, you can't get unemployment. Yeah. That's so. It, I mean, they're gonna cut you off on unemployment one way or the other. You either go back to work. And make money that way, or you starve. Because if you don't go back to work, they're assuming you quit, and so you can, you're not eligible for unemployment. Because people with well, diabetes, are one of those lung problems. problems, they're they're putting they're risking their lives by going back to work because it's the, they're. You think Governor Abbott cares about that? No, well, I mean Marjorie <laughs> has Mar Marjorie has to watch out because life. she has COPD. You know. And uh, she has COPD, and that's not good. Uh, you know, it's she's, uh, what do you call it, one of the vulnerable people in this situation. Uh, and uh, so she doesn't want to say, oh, you sure, I'll be happy to take a subway down to work every day, right? She doesn't, wouldn't mind if she lived around the block and could go right into the building, but that's not the case. We're all the way uptown. She's got to take a car. She's got to do something like that, you know? And it's um, it's uh, scary. It's just scary. Uh, but I mean, the fact that they're forcing people to go back to work in Texas, I think that each individual business should decide for themselves, if at the very least. But it's almost like it's like these Republican governors care more about the economy. In fact, wasn't it your governor, or maybe your lieutenant governor, it was Texas. that, that yeah, said, that said that all the senior citizens should just fall on the sword and go back to work and die? Yeah, well, he said basically <laughs> that if it's a difference between the economy and leaving a, and leaving a good economy to our children or these older people dying, then I guess they're going to have to die. I think that was basically yep. what he was saying. Yep. Where yeah. does, is, uh, where, where does that Texas, come from, you know? Yes, Kevin. Is Texas a, a right-to-work state? Oh, oh hell yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. At will employer, whatever. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, yeah, you know. So I mean, it's it's ridiculous, just ridiculous. Um, what? A lot of people support that, though. I mean, there are plenty of people who agree with that, Lieutenant yeah. Governor. Yeah. So. Well, I mean, you know, and you, that's what's getting weird is it, it's trickling down to the lower end because we had a we had a local county meeting online day before yesterday. 
Mm -hmm. And I just listened to it this morning because it was online. I usually go to them, but they've been doing them on Zoom. So I listened to it Mm -hmm. yesterday. It was a county meeting. And they were bringing up opening up and that sort of thing. And they had a bunch of people calling in and whatnot. And it was a shit show because the the former Santa Clara health agency person is our health agency person down here. Mm -hmm. And he took a beating from the local people down here Mm -hmm. because they wanted to, you know, they want to open up and we've got a, our share of, you know, rednecks out in the woods here. And they were talking about how he was being imperial, you know, he was the, you know, unelected person that's telling people what to do and you should open up and just let us figure it out ourselves. And, you know, it was, it was getting real, real heated. And even one of the supervisors said, you know, we should, we're call, we should call for your termination. And <clears throat> three of the other supervisors said we should follow the state's rules and use their guidelines and move along <clears throat> that way. And the public was coming on and just berating this guy one after another after another. And then I come to find out yesterday that he resigned. He said, fuck this. Mm-hmm. So now we have no health officer. <laughs> Well, I don't know. You know, I mean, all I know is that I live in fear every time I leave this building. And I don't, I've never allowed myself to be let, you know, put put into a state of fear by something. But I feel vulnerable. And well, and and it's a lot with the people, what what these people are thinking about out there. Some of them are just, just want to be reckless and go out there and say, okay, what happens, happens. And then there's other people that just want to go along and go with the, the data and the science yeah. and, you know, try and believe what's going on. I don't think anybody wants to wreck this country. I don't think anybody wants to wreck the county. No, or but the I, I think the economy is second to people living. You yeah, know? and I understand that, the too. I understand people. people are hurting, but let's do it right, yeah. for Christ's sake. And let the government somehow make sure they don't hurt quite as much. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, Rob. So I heard an. Uh, I was listening to sports talk yesterday, and since there's not much in the way of sports, yes, <laughs> somebody uh, um, they're talking about everything, right? So uh, a, a healthcare worker called in and said, you know, um, people who have these jobs who stay home and they have the luxury of working from home, mm-hmm. um, you know, I don't have that luxury. I work 12, 14 hour days, yeah. and then I, I'm sequestered from my family. I haven't hugged my kids in six weeks, and people are complaining, and people are not staying home and such. And the, the, the talk show host, the, the sports talk show host person said, you know, you bring up an interesting point. There are a lot of people who feel, you're lucky. Give me the opportunity to go to work and risk my life. You have the option if you don't want to go to work. I can't feed my family. I can't pay my bills. I'm going to lose my place where I live. Let me make a decision whether or not I want to take that risk and go to work. It was, you know, it's a cogent argument. You know what I mean? It's it's thoughtful when you hear it that way. Well, you know, we're not giving the people a chance to determine whether or not they could afford to pay their bills and, uh, you know, for health reasons. But. Then there are those people who regret, or not regret, but they begrudge yeah. the, the people putting their lives on the line. Well, I mean, Cuomo, Cuomo's living. made a big deal out of the uh, out of the service workers and the subway, people who work in the subways who go there every day, and the cops who still show up for the job, in spite of the fact their lives are on the line. A lot of them have died already. Yes, Jeff, quickly. Cause we're yeah, my, uh, one of my friends, a young fella, uh, yeah. him and his wife both work in... in in serious hospital mm-hmm. places, which is very risky. They also have a very young child who's like uh, six years old. The six-year-old can't stay with his parents. They stay with their grandparents, and they get to talk to them on the Internet and things like that, but they they never get yeah. to see... Uh- the, the mother and the, and the child every day. By the way, at all. By the way, there is a thing that they've started, and I don't know where they've started it. I think maybe out in California, someplace like that, called RVs for for workers. And what it is is, if people have RVs, they let certain workers have an RV that they park in their driveway, so, so they, they can, can live in there instead of live with the family, but still be close to home. Which I thought was one of the most wonderful 
things I've heard so far in all of this. Hey, that's the theme. God, what a good show tonight. Terrific show. Uh, a program. I don't like to call it a show. Uh, 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 first of all, thanks to Brian for being the first one up here. Uh, Rob, thank you. We love having you here. Charlene, great having you here. Charlie, deep in the heart of Texas. Jeff, deep in the heart of Connecticut. Uh, yes. uh, 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 Kevin, uh, deep in the heart of somewhere in California. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, uh, of course, Ray, thank you. And John Larkin from the... Uh, uh, from the Tenderloin District in San Francisco. Thank you for being here. Thanks to all of you. And if you'll give a big wave goodbye, I'll give a big wave goodbye back at you. Okay? There they go. That's the citizen panel. Uh, and uh, that's it for tonight. Uh, we'll be back again tomorrow night. But uh, coming up next is a program uh, aptly called The Intersection with uh, uh, a guy by the name of... Uh, Jack Bishop. I'm trying to do everything at once here. I'm trying to sign off and whatever. Anyway, uh, listen, uh, we'll be back here again tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody.